Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so wonderful to see you again. So tonight, I, <laughs> I normally don't do like reveals, but I have a reveal for you tonight. And I'm so excited. This is definitely a bag that I forgot existed. And then it just appeared on Fashion File and I was like, I gotta have it. It's my bag. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you guys? So <laughs> anyway, backstory, little backstory. And I know I hate backstories sometimes cause like just show the freaking thing. I have been looking for a Demi Urban Louis Vuitton bag besides having my Speedy. Like I have my Speedy 30 in Demi A. Ben and it's strictly arm carry. That is a forever bag. I will always keep it and um, bought it off one of my friends. So sentimental in a way. I love that bag, but I've been wanting to have like a multi-carry um, Demi A. Ben bag. So kind of looking around on Fashion File and then found this one in the price range that I was kind of looking and found it, got it. I ordered this back last month because I'm on a no spend February, by the way. So I bought this in January and it arrived today. UPS was supposed to bring it yesterday, but we had a huge, massive snowstorm. So I waited around all day yesterday and it never came. And then it finally came this afternoon. I was like, is this bag ever gonna make it? And it made it. So. Anyway, I'd like to show you what's in this dust bag and a couple of you already know that I'm friends with. So I got the, the Belmont PM and of course it comes in Demi Ben, and I got the one with the black trim. So I want to kind of go over just like my first impressions of the bag and just kind of like of course i haven't used it i still have the tags on it but um i know i'm going to keep this bag like i know i'm definitely keeping it so i'm going to cut the tags off whenever i'm done filming this video and just kind of going over it so tiffany she um lb coffee lover she has this same bag she has it with the saffron um, which is kind of like the mustard, beautiful mustard. And then um, in the same size, Joshi Michael has the larger one, which is the MM and the cherry berry trim. And um, I'll link both of their videos down below. So, because there's not like a lot of videos on this bag, like, I don't know why, because I know that I'm gonna use the crap out of this bag. Like. I was looking for something that was gonna definitely be just like my versatile daytime bag, like for sure. And the fact that it comes with this cute little SLG, this SLG is awesome. Like in itself, like this thing would go for probably like 400 bucks, I think on Fashion File. So the fact that you're getting that and a bag that is very, very well made. I think it's definitely worth the price. Like I picked this up less than retail. And I know that there's another one on there that's less than retail. Retail, these were like around 2,200-ish dollars a year or two ago. I don't think that they're made anymore by LV, so you have to buy them secondhand. But um, it's just absolutely beautiful all the way around. It does have these beautiful like top handles that do flop all the way down. And the one thing I like about um, this bag in particular is the shiny hardware because I truly feel like this is different hardware than like what's on the Speedy Bees. This reminds me of hardware that's like on a Neo No Way. It's very, very shiny and I feel like it's gonna be quote unquote scratch proof. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's gonna be okay on that. So the bag of course has no feet and it's constructed in like a ret retourne, retine type way where everything is, all the seams are folded inside the bag and then everything 
is like, there's like rough, not rough seams, but the seams connect on the inside of the bag. And what I love about this bag is that it does have the beautiful micro suede interior. With that, it kind of makes it feel like this bag is like super duper thick. Like normal LV canvas feels so much more thin these days on like the newer bags. And when you have a bag that's fully lined with the microfiber like this one, it just it feels sturdy. Like when you open her up, it's not like collapsing in on itself. That's why I believe that this bag can hold its structure so much better. So, um, yeah, just like on the inside though, you have, you have a zip and the zipper pull is that nice, huge, um, over exaggerated zipper pull, which I love. So you just like unzip. Mine's like a little bit tough to unzip. And it's all microfiber lined. Behind it, you have a slip pocket that's pretty fairly decent sized. Um, the connection up here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I think all of these are made in France. I think they are. I didn't really research um, all of them that were available. There were only a few that were available on Fashion File when I bought. Um, but it has this type of clasp to connect to the other side. I don't know if I'll ever even really do that, but um, it's kind of nice to know that there is a little bit of a closure there. So um, on the outside, you've got the corners that aren't sharp to a point, which is really appreciated beautiful stitching. Um, the front of the bag has the upright Louis Vuitton Paris in the checks. I love the symmetry of this bag because the checks are symmetrical to the handles that flop down. That's really nice. It's a nice detail. On the back side is the upside down Louis Vuitton Paris. On the back here, you do have the stitching, which is from the inside of that inner pocket, that um, zip pocket. So that looks really nice. And then you've got the sides again. The sides here at the top, very similar to the Neo Noe, in fact, have these little leather tabs. Sorry, I'm not sure what that was. And then you have this on the other side. So those are the methods of connecting the little D-ring hooks here to hook your strap onto. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I really, really love this bag. I truly think it's absolutely beautiful. And I like black with Damier Aben a lot. I like the brown treated leather. I mean, I like Damier Aben a whole lot. Um, I like all three prints equally. It's like, I don't know, I like Demier Azur for its reasons. I like Demier Yaben because it's so carefree and I love the chicness of it. And then I love Monogram because, you know, Monogram is Monogram and it looks beautiful with the Vaquetta when it gets dark. Anyway, I just love every print and I love the canvas. So let me set the bag down. I'm going to show you the strap real fast. And again, not a full review, but I just kind of want to show you real quick. This is actually a hugely long strap. It's not that thick though. It's like probably just a half an inch thick, guys. So it's pretty thin. Um, it's got like a million adjustments. This is set to the shortest setting. I kind of tried it on earlier just as a shoulder bag, but my real intention of this bag is to wear it as a crossbody. So. Um, yeah, and I put all my stuff in there earlier, guys, and it feels to me like it's definitely heavier than, well, no, it's not that heavy of a bag, honestly, like right now it's very, very light, but with my things in it, it felt a little heavier. I don't know why, maybe my items are heavier. One thing I was considering doing was using a different strap whenever I go crossbody because this one's a little thin, but either way, this bag is absolutely beautiful. Um, 
I will tell you guys that I, when I was buying this bag, I'm not gonna be wearing this little pouch on the outside at all. Um, I'm gonna use this on the inside and hold my business cards in it because I just feel like that would make a really stylish business card holder. And then it's very flat. It doesn't have a gusset, so, and but it's really beautiful. It also has that microfiber lining on the inside. So it's really appreciated. I just really, really feel like, I just feel like this bag could be slightly underrated. Am I, am I thinking clearly? But I just, I feel like, it is made so well for LV, for recent LV, for the price. Like, I know they're not making this bag anymore, okay? So it's not even being produced, but I feel like, I just, I don't know. Why, why more people don't have it? I don't know. It's such a good, like, versatile, everyday, chuck everything in it um, bag. I want to show you what it looks like on real fast um, and just kind of like how it does hug up against your body. This top part up here, it flattens. So like your items are down here and then up here, this is like the part that's going to connect to your body and it actually does like smush in. So um, yeah, I want to kind of show you what it looks like on real fast. All right, so this is what it looks like just as a shoulder bag. This is on the very tightest setting. So great little size. It's petite. And then this is what it looks like crossbody on me. And so super, super usable. Like just, hi, just like dig in, dig out. Like and when you're in a hurry, cause like, I don't know, I panic in situations. I like dump bags. Like. I hate organization in bags. That's just me. I don't like pocket. I don't like separation. I'm like one big hole type of a person. So, um, I, yeah, this bag is just so killer. I love it. So anyway, first impression, just wanted to show you guys, I'm like over the moon excited about this bag and just really wanted to share. I, I'm just glad that, um, I searched Fashion File. I mean, I don't know. Like, I love Fashion File. Do you guys love Fashion File? I am just, I love buying pre-loved. I think that that's the thing. Like, whenever I buy, like, nicer, higher, expensive things, I always choose Fashion File first because I always feel like, one, like, you get a better price, duh. Two, you're buying second hand so it feels better for the planet if that makes sense i don't know like i feel like there's just so much consumption and i'd rather just buy um second hand i don't know it's just it just makes me feel better <laughs> about myself so okay well thank you folks so much and um my next video actually is going to be coming out here soon. It's going to be um, a tag video by Nick Snell. And it is, um, if I could only buy five bags for 2022, which ones would they be? So stay tuned for that. It's going to be lots of fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend and take care. Bye.